All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Seopolis with your buddy here, Super Turtle. Guys, today I have got something really fun planned for us. We're going to be doing compact machines here. So let's get this farty parted. Um, you might notice it took me a little bit longer to do that. Well, I have a new keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's a 60 percenter. So I have to hit FN and then the number keys up top in order to hit the F or the F keys. So it's just going to take a little bit longer there. Don't worry, I'll get much better at it. But guys, yes, compact machine. So we're going to be going through the quest line. Like so, why do we not have any game sound? Aha, beautiful. We have the game sound. Okay. So there we go. We have that. Let's make the field projectors here pretty cheap. We can make these guys no problemo. Let's type in machine frame. There it is. Perfection. Whoa, we don't want 64. We want like 10. Yes, sir. All right, so we got those machine frames made up. We can go ahead here and get some of those. So we only need one set of these, but I did go ahead and make 10 because, you know, we always need those. Okay, so it wants us to make these guys the compressed hammer. I have no interest in making these guys we'll make them eventually for you know quest completion but we're going to ignore those for now uh we're going to go ahead and make this guy the personal shrinking machine so let's go ahead and do that we need a book don't you ever interrupt me while i'm reading the book all right there we go personal shrinking device there we go and then compact walls okay so i believe this will tell us where they're supposed to be. I know we're making it incorrect right now. Please don't worry too much about it. Actually, that worked. I guess we just made a small version. I didn't think that would actually work. Um, yeah, these guys. So we just need blaze wood, which is the warped woods... Um, how do you get the warped woods again? Obviously, you get them from here. But where do we get that? Essence. This, hmm. Okay, so it looks like to get further into this, um, let's see if there's any blood shroom. Oh, yeah, you got to combine those. Dungeon chests, maybe. Uh, but I do think the best bet would be to get into some nature essence. These are just tier two essences. Let's see. Should have you and you. Yeah, we should be able to make these guys no problemo. So let's get on over here. Oh, I also forgot about our wireless crafting grid. I always forget about that. Because um, I'm just not used to using it, you know? You know? Sometimes, dudes, that's just how it is. I say dudes because it's like 96... Or sorry, 99%. Oh, we're out of range. We gotta go over here. Nope, we're still out of range. How about here? Right meow? Right meow? Okay. So we have this here. We need... Crimson wood. It would be cool to get some of this wood. All right, so another essence, obviously something we're gonna use a lot. Uses here. Let's try to find the other essence. Aluminum seeds, not a bad idea. Honey seeds, copper seeds. What was the other one we needed? We have nether. Ah, yes, nature. Nature seeds, okay. So that's gonna be our goal for the next couple of seconds. So it's going to be to get those so we can get the warped wood. So let's go ahead and do some crafting. All right, check it out. We got this. We got the boom, the boom, the boom, and boom. And now we can do this. And I forgot a lever. We need to add in just a few more range upgrades for this guy. Uh, let's grab a lever real quick. Yes, we only have a few of them. You know, 60 more. We got to be sparing with those. Okay. So we turn this on, and, and, shebang, we have our nature seeds. 
All right, chicken seeds, we don't need you anymore. You're good. Yeah, so now we got to go on to the nether seeds, which is going to require some netherrack, soul sand, and nether bricks, along with some nether warts. So that's going to be a little bit more involved, but I should be able to do it. All right, and now we can go ahead and place these guys in. And these guys. I promise it's all worth it in the end, dudes and dudettes. Here we go. And boom. Booyah. So cool. Oh, that was fully grown. Oh, that was weird looking. Okay, so if you guys are wondering how I ended up getting the soul sand and sifting the stuff, I actually went ahead and made a, a very small setup down here. Uh, so if we look on back, back here, you can see, hey, there's some weirdness going on. So yeah, we are stealing the lava from our 100% automated lava production system. It runs on itself. We don't have to do anything. That goes into this stone barrel over some obsidian, which turns the lava into witch water. We're pumping sand into it in order to make soul sand. That goes into this drawer here. Cool, that's a whole system. Then this takes it out, puts it into a sifter, which has the diamond mesh in, and then spits it into this chest here. And as you can see, we actually have a gas tier. What are the uses for this? Ooh, we can respawn that guy, stasis chamber. Ooh, shape card of fortune quarry. You know that's always what you want. We can make a cool lamp, but that's that's not what we want to make now. We want to go AFK, right, and build or harvest things. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know a good way to do this. Uh, we could always, you know, swap out a couple rows there for these guys. Um... Because, well, we already have enough essence for that. What are we actually trying to make again? I've already forgotten. Oh, yes, that's right. We're trying to make the warped wood. The warped wood. We just need... Actually, no, not the warped wood. The crimson wood. This guy here. What needed nature essence? Ah, the warped fungus is what we wanted. So yeah, we only need to grow one of these guys, the nether seeds. Uh, so I'll go AFK here for a little bit. Actually, you know what I'll do? Is I will swap these around because this has all of the growth accelerators underneath it, this guy on the right here. As you can see, it grows much faster than any other plant. Uh, that's because of all the growth accelerators. So we should be able to do this here really quickly. Look, we're already at 71%, 85 Boom. There we go. We have our essence there. We can make the warped fungi. So cool. And then to grow this in here... we, we Okay, we can just use netherrack. Sweet. We do have the netherrack. So we can come over here, snag this real quick. And then... Boom. Boom. Get out of here. And boom. Warped fungi. Here we go. And the cool thing is I already... Oh, that's not what I want to do. I already set up a spot for these guys unintentionally because I thought you could grow pumpkins in the botany pots for some reason, and I didn't even put it in the right spot. Look, I totally messed that up. I put it over this. It's supposed to go over this. So another rack, and there we go. Warped fungi. Cool beans. So we're going to let that grow for a bit. I'm going to go AFK here. Let that grow. We'll get some wood. We need to change that to the 2x2 two two actually. And yeah, we'll just we'll have a party when you guys get back, you know? A, a fun party. Not, not one of the lame ones. It's a party, guys. Look at this. We already have 16 warped planks. The cool thing about this is that we already have the Molten Blaze ready for this. I was making Eyes of Ender recently and totally forgot that I left a whole bunch of this in here. So all we need to do is get a hopper. And if we go like this, as you can see, it starts to make it very cool. A simple little hopper will make our lives so much easier. So let's go ahead and do that. Heck, we'll just make it into a normal good hopper. Yes, because good hoppers are good. 
All right, so in, in here like this. Bam. So that's going to be heckin' automatic now. All right, so now if we look at this, uh, we just need to throw a flux core at it. All right, I guess we can do that. Okay, and then right before we do this, we're going to grab... We're going to grab uh, some of these guys. And we're going to have a little mini setup for now, but we do need to bring this up by one block, unfortunately. Oops. I believe these are directional. Nope, they, they are opposite of where you're facing. There used to be a way to do that where... Depending on where you clicked on the block, like which little section, like it was split into corners like that, here, 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 uh, it would place in a certain direction. Okay. But that has changed. That's okay. So, bam, bam, bam. No? Oh my gosh, I built it upside down. Do, do, do. Okay. So, bang. Bang, shebang. There we go. Oh, that is kind of slow, honestly. How much? That only gives us four. All right. Boop, we got it. That's what I'm talking about. Compact machine, tiny. Okay, so we need to do that a few more times. I wonder, with a block placer? No, I don't think you could do it with a block placer. I'm just trying to think out loud. Um, hmm, that's taking up the spot. What if, can we do that? No. What if we have a diagonal from it? Could we do it like that? Let's try it. So here, here, nope. Man, so the only way to really do this faster would be to have more than just one setup. Yeah, is there a better way to make it? The induction smelter, what am I doing with this? What the heck? Why would I ever do it the long way? Oh my gosh, you could almost automate that. Actually, with a, with quite a bit of work, you actually could. And I, I'm, I'm already thinking of ways to do it. We're not going to do it now, but holy freaking crap, bro. Man, that is so much faster than doing it this way. Ugh, that's disgusting. Why would that be in there? Probably just to troll us. Okay. So we want to make... I don't have the plus button anymore. My new keyboard, the plus button's gone. From the numpad. It's just wood. All right, so tiny boy. Get this guy. Boop. Hey, we are tiny. We're a tiny little person. All right, we're alive. Hello, world. Um, so that's cool. We did that. Very neato. All right, compact machine, small, giant, maximum. What entails this? A block of emerald. That's it. That's it. Uses. All right, all right, all right. So we got a giant one here. All right, how big is this? That is not bad. I've been in this before. I've made one of these before. Whoa, trippy corner. And uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna be using these because these definitely help reduce lag. Um, so something like this, we will condense into probably a much smaller one. Actually, probably won't even use this anymore. We're gonna destroy it, put something else there. Um, but yeah, like uh, possibly 
this whole system here in one block. We could do that. Um, all of that, all the different machines like lava, power, we could all we could all put that in here. And so I actually think the next one we're going to do is going to be power in this guy. Is there a way to look at it again? No. So I, I think the, the thing we're going to do in this, let's see, if we go to map, can we zoom out? <gasps> what? What do you mean? That's our tiny one. How could it be in the same? I'm just kidding. It's clearly a different dimension that you just basically, basically gain access to. But yeah, we're going to be putting, um, shoot, man. Okay, I was, I was making sure that you couldn't do that. So we're going to put all of the power generation. Like We're going to do lava power here really soon. That's all going to be within that block there. So what we're going to do is take this guy, and we can just put him like right here, and that will be our power. Like a power is going to be there. Very cool. Okay. So I guess we might as well make... Each of the different ones. Um, maximum, tiny, giant, small, normal. Okay. So let's make these up real quick. We got that one. Get rid of it. We got... Oh, we don't got that. We got it now. Bam a lamb. Bam a lamb. Don't got that. There we go. And there's that one. Okay. So, ooh, tunnels. Tunnels be placed inside your compact machine, set to the face in the block. This allows you to add and remove items from inside the compact machines. So, what the tunnels allow us to do is if we look into our guy here. Uh, we can place, actually, we need to get out of this guy. See, see these like green, I guess, squares? Uh, we can make that, so say it, it puts power, or it doesn't put power, but put items. So we have a corresponding little green thing on the inside that says, hey, we basically, we pump items into that spot on the wall, and that correlates to this wall here, and then pumps it out. Uh, so it's just a way to get items out of it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and check compact machines come back to my jeans oh we're out of that stuff aren't we got enough for that though bam one that required two okay so all we got left is those guys we don't need to worry too much about them because they're a good -o. all right so for the rest of this episode we're not going to get into what we're going to be doing next episode. Next episode is going to be the mob farm thing. Uh, it's going to be super duper cool, but we needed to do that. Mob cages. Uh, so this is what we're going to work on next episode. It's going to be a blast. But for the rest of this episode, we are going to be working on upgrading these guys to the netherite mesh. So let's get this far departed. So if we look over at mesh here... Got the netherite mesh. Let's go ahead, hit A on that. That's going to be our goal. It's just going to require two blocks of molten netherite, which is gold and molten debris, which we can make very, very easily. So we're going to take a stack of that, a stack of that, and we're going to pump it into our system here. So half a stack, half a stack, boom, boom, boom. Those are going to mix together. I believe we needed more netherite, so I should have done the netherite first. But don't tell anyone. Goal to go quick. Ooh. Okay. So not enough heat, which means that we're going to need the blaze to do that. Okay. So we need to pump this stuff into a tank. I got an idea. Uh, Tanke uses. We're gonna make it bigger. Can we go one more? Yes, we can. Okay, so actually, let's grab the pipe like this. And this is gonna be kind of funny, honestly. All right. Frick. 
that was fast. There we go. Okay. So you break this guy. This guy. We need to grab those seared tanks. It'd be cool if we could put the elite fluid tank in the wall. Woof. Seareds. Not sears. All right. So there we go. We got the two extra here. We're going to convert this over to a quick blaze version of itself. All right. There we go. It actually pulled all of that out. Jeez. Okay, so the netherite is smelting up perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Gold in, netherite in. Bam. All right. Molten debris. Oh my goodness, we're going to need a lot, aren't we? Jeez. All right. I'm going to get the recipe kind of good to go for this guy. Yeah, we'll get those out of there. Because we're up to eight of those. Don't worry, we have, we have so much netherite you can shake a, a stick at. And we're at another right in our system. Shaking the stick did lots of stuff. All right, so we got two blocks there. So let's go ahead and we're going to take our first guy. It's going to get mad that we took the mesh out. That's okay. Don't worry too much about it. It's going to come up here. Where did we go? There we are. All right, we're going to place this guy here and click this. I'm going to turn these off because we don't want to pull that out. It's going to take two whole blocks. Craziness. All right, it's full. Okay. Oh, that's gonna, that's taking forever to cure. It's still curing. Okay, so it finally finished here. Um, there, yep, there it goes. And bam, netherite mesh. We've done it. I think I accidentally... Okay, so we have recently updated to the latest version of Seopolis, and unfortunately it did reset all of our quests, so I had to go back through and kind of, you know, check all of them off. As you see, like, none of the food ones are here, even though you guys, you know, we remember doing those. I had to go through and just do all the, the big ones. Um, so here, let's put that in. That is a netherite mesh. Oh, man. So this is all the stuff we're going to be getting now. Copper, iron, you know, gold, tin, copper and tin now. So we can reutilize those other sieves for other things. Um, but, yeah, we can get the lithium. That's pretty crazy. So we get an additional four items within this, which is the, the lithium stuff. Uh, we get lead, coal's in a different spot. We get nickel. Uh, yeah, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's the four items we get. So we really don't need any of those other dudes. Once we upgrade all of our meshes to the netherite, we would no longer need to sift the red sand, the sand. We will continue to sift the crushed netherrack, though. And then we also don't need to sift gravel anymore, which is amazing. And did we fill up on this all the way? No. Okay. Let's get that out of here. We don't want we don't want too much of that in there. Let's get some more gold. You know what I mean? We got six blocks. Craziness. Okay. So let's grab those other two meshes because we are able, we do have enough netherite to go ahead and finish them up. All right, this guy's in here, and then we'll put this guy in and turn that on. And then it should make the blocks afterward, which is fine by me. All right, that one. 
It's filling up. Look at that go. Bam. Now we wait. All right. That one just processed here. Very cool. Will this fill up all the way? Yes, sir. Okay. So we can go ahead and add this one in. Cool, cool. You get it. And so what we're going to go ahead and do um, now that we don't need this anymore is we're actually going to set all of these up in a... Um, they're going to be in a little pocket dimension, compact machines. And they're just going to... We're going to run a, like a wireless uh, transmitter there so we can kind of connect these up to a drawer controller. So we'll be able to access all of those. You know, if we ever need a bunch of netherrack or a bunch of sand, you know, we'll be able to make a bunch of glass with that. Uh, and then red sand, you know, if we ever need it. So we're going to, after today, we're going to shut down this whole system other than, actually, the netherrack is the only thing we're going to do. And we're going to probably move that uh, either down there or to its own little pocket dimension, like the normal size. Um, so if we go... Compact here, I believe the iron one is probably the one we want to go for. Let's have a look real quick. Yeah, so something like like this big, like this is all we need. We'll put the the nether the nether uh, right production in here and the sifting all within there. Pump it into an inner chest that'll go into our system. So this will. This will all go away after today. I don't know if we're going to do it on camera or on stream. I will let you guys know, but let's go over here. This guy should be done as well. Yep, we're making the netherite blocks. Here's our netherite mesh. So we do technically still need to make one more of those. So I believe if we come... Oh my gosh, it's a little guy. Those guys are terrifying. Yes, this is the final one that we need. We're, oh, no, we're up here. <gasps> Don't look at him. He's gonna, he's gonna wreck my face, bro. Alright, throw that in there. Yeah, we still got plenty. Plenty. Alright, so once that fills up, I'm gonna turn it off. Yes. And then sifting crushed. What does crushed netherrack give us when we sift it with the netherite. Uh, it's the same as emerald, but I think the probabilities might be different. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's faster, but it's going to be to the max, that's for sure. All right, there we go. The final... I thought he had a hat on for a second, like a crown. Um, the final netherite mesh. There we go. It's done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. We're going to wrap up the video for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle. Guys, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye. There's a crazy little guy behind me. Ah.